Hello, users! What the hell is poppin'? Welcome back to Above It All, the series in which I talk shit about dumb motherfuckers. So, the New York Democratic primary, emphasis on Democratic, decided, eh, we're just gonna cancel an election. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, one thing that many people who are probably really stupid and or uneducated I don't understand about the Democratic National Convention is it does more than pick the president. For example, the amount of delegates that specific candidates get, they're able to gain leverage for, say, DNC chair picks. Maybe not the chair, but certain, like, committees. They're, like, depending on the uh, amount of delegates you get, you can start new committees. You can, like, change some of the, the roles. Like, you know, for example, you have, like, three Bernie people, six Biden people, something like that on key committees. Like, you know how much damage, like, Tom Perez did in, uh, in the 2020 primary. Just look at the Iowa disaster. Look at the fact that there were so many states that voted in the middle of a pandemic. Not just Wisconsin, but Florida, Illinois, Arizona. Like, it's just like unfucking believable these people. So, the thing about the Bernie campaign is he suspended his campaign with the explicit intent to stay on the ballot in all the states to collect delegates for key DNC committee picks. So, that is very important. The Democratic National Committee, uh, or the Democratic uh, Party of New York, rather, said, eh, eh. Like, that's the thing. It's like, if their whole thing is like, oh, let's cancel an election, right? Okay, cancel the fucking election. That's that's at least your take. But to modify the election so that the primary, the presidential primary doesn't exist, but all the other local primaries exist, what? Like, what safety concerns? Like, oh, you know, if someone fills in a bubble on the top of the slip of paper, well, maybe they'll get corona. But if they fill a bubble that doesn't say Bernie Sanders, maybe they won't get corona. And we're trying to help people's lives here. We all know the Bernie Sanders bubble on the ballot carries corona in it. Like, the Bernie ink in our printers have, like, the corona built in. So, like, what? Like, what? Like, no. They're doing this because they're not a Democratic Party. The Democratic Party of New York is a corrupt party. Just like the Democratic Party as a whole, it's just a lot more obvious in New York. So, Bernie's campaign released a statement, um, and it's actually really good. It's a really, really good statement. Um, so here's the thing. Jeff Weaver, who's a very good guy, I wish he played more of an active role in the 2020 campaign, but basically, the, the, the most important part of this is no one asked New York to cancel the election. The DNC didn't request it. The Biden campaign didn't request it. And our campaign communicated that we wanted to remain on the ballot. Given that the primary is months away, the proper response must be made to uh, make the election safe, such as going to an all vote by mail rather than eliminating people's right to vote completely. Here's the thing. Again, this is the same party that says, yeah, voting in Wisconsin that's fine. This is the same party that says voting in Florida, Illinois, or Arizona. That's fine. There's nothing wrong there. I know there's a pandemic and the CDC said not to, but eh, that's cool. We'll do it. So this is the same party that says this. So again, if, if, vo if, 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 if the safety of voters is the concern, do mail-in ballots. But are they doing that? <gasps> no, they're just focusing on fucking over the Bernie fucking segment of the party, which is just absolutely unbelievable. So New York says, so or rather Jeff Weaver says, New York has clearly violated its approved delegate selection plan. And this is where it gets very good. If this is not remedied, New York should lose all its delegates to the 2020 Democratic National Convention. And there should be a broader review by the Democratic Party of New York, New York's checkered pattern of voter disenfranchisement. So again, New York, the same state that says you need to be a Democrat for at least six months to vote in the primary. Like, what? Like, in 2016, like, Bernie Sanders entered the race after that window had ended. You know what I mean? Like, Bernie Sanders started gaining steam in, like, early 2016 instead of late 2015. So all the independents that he could have gotten couldn't have voted for him in New York, and therefore he lost New York. And we were actually thinking that New York would be a big win for Bernie this time around, but oops, right? The fucking corrupt assholes fucked us over. So I'm, I'm, 
just absolutely impressed with the Bernie campaign's quick and very badass response to this. And I hope they, they, they continue to put pressure on this. I hope this, is just, this isn't just like a one-time press release. That's my hope. But even if it is, it's still a really good... Uh, it's really good, and it just, you know, fires me up. But seriously, though, they need to go push on this. Tom Perez needs to, first of all, be fired, and second of all, be thrown in jail. But you know, if those two aren't going to happen on the list of priorities, three, do his fucking job. Because, again, if New York isn't going to partake in the presidential primary selection process, why do they get dele delegates to the convention? What? If they're only going to do local elections, then why would they have national delegates? That makes no goddamn fucking sense. But they did it anyway. So now it's just time to, you know, like, as the saying says, fuck around and find out. They fucked around. They got to find out. So you got to put the pressure on them. And again, hopefully the Bernie campaign stays on this message. Apparently there's some announcement that he's going to make at some point. I don't know, but whatever. You know, it'd be badass to be just unsuspended. But, I, you know, it's not going to happen. I'm, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. But it would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, seriously, though, this is the least the Bernie campaign can do. They should do more, but at least they're, like, actually using very fiery rhetoric. Like... Like, there is a need needs to be a broader review of the Democratic Party of New York's checkered pattern of voter disenfranchisement. I mean, that's at least getting them where it hurts. So, I like it. But they deem to go further and also fuck New York. And also fuck the Democratic Party of New York. And also a reminder, Andrew Cuomo cut Medicaid during a pandemic. Thank you for watching.